afternoon. Uh, Nina's not here today. She is, uh, she had a situation in D.C. That's where she is right now. But uh, I'm sure she wishes you the best. Um, you know, Mom's been doing this to me since I was a little kid. Uh, I sat down and saw my name on the program just a little while ago. <laughs> All the time. So, you know, we, we just have to kind of read it. <laughs> anyway, um, hi, my name is Chris Moore. I am Helen's uh, youngest biological son. And I say biological because she has numerous sons and daughters that she did not birth. Beautiful woman, beautiful woman. And, you know, all of us, the biological and the others, uh, two things came to mind. Um, one is we love you immensely. Two is we're all fascinated by you. I'm a father now, and I have no idea how you did it. No, I can't, I can't figure it out. I can't piece it together. Uh, meetings, running around. Since we were little kids, babies, uh, my sister was a baby. I had to be three. Church, um, meetings at home, marches. Yeah. Uh, TV, radio, yeah. and not once did any of us feel like we were lacking any of your attention yeah. or your love or your support. I'm going to try to have to sit down with you and figure that part out. I don't know if I'm doing this good. Uh, that being said, uh, we love you very much and we're blessed to have you. Uh, come give me a hug. She's been 
she she's really giving me some push, some drive, because uh, I uh, I've been knowing Helen for about a decade, and she got me out working with with all of you, all you colored folks. Oh. <laughs> Amen. And that's a job. And love will do that. Amen. That's the love of Jesus. Amen. Look at that beautiful smile on her. Amen. She, she looking mighty pretty down there too. Amen. Amen. Uh, I love her. And there were times we wanted to quit. But we kept on pushing. I'm going to be brief. I'm going to be brilliant. I'm going to be seated. But I'd like to say to you, Queen, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, Amen. for as much as you know, your labor is not in vain. Oh, yes. I have to think of her through the eyes of a child, which is how I met Helen Moore coming from one church, kind of in bewilderment as to what I was going to do, spiritually and musically. And when I came in to Car Metropolitan as a child, I came in the gym choir. And who was there? This is Helen Moore and her family and my uh, late sister. And Helen has done so much for, for me and the inspiration as a child and the opportunities that I had um, to travel with the choir, to the nursing homes, to, um, to, to uh, the various conventions we had. I was also a beneficiary of Helen's expertise as a seamstress. She interested me in sewing. She was the one who created my first performing outfits. Helen was just there all the time. She was a bundle of joy. She made us laugh. I remember one time, I think she may not remember, I think she had food poisoning or something like that, and she was in the hospital, but came home, and all these people came by her house to visit her, and she had to sit on the front porch because having food poisoning, she would, um, you know, <laughs> So, and she would greet us all on the front porch, and we just had a wonderful time. Helen, you're just a great person and a pleasure to have known all, this, all these many years through the eyes of this child. Thank you so much.